In this video, we will look at some miscellaneous codes. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. Throughout this series, we have individual videos for each code. In this video, we will look at various codes that only have short explanations and do not require creating a separate video. Let's start with M00 program stop and M01 optional stop. M00 or M01 is used to stop the machine at a given time in the program. When the line M00 is read on the control, the machine will halt the program execution and wait for the operator to push the start button. Once the start button is pressed, the control will continue to execute the program from where it left off. The M01 code does exactly the same thing as M00, but will be taken into account by the machine only if the optional stop button on the control is activated. If the button is not activated, the M01 line will be ignored by the control and the machine will not stop. An example of using M01 could be when we want to stop the program for inspection during the running of the first sheet, but not for the remainder of the sheets. The next command is block skip. If the slash character is entered at the beginning of a line and if the block skip button on the control is activated, the control will skip the line when executing the program. If the block skip button is not activated, the control will execute all lines. An example for using block skip would be if you have two parts that are exactly the same with the exception that one part has an extra hole. Instead of having two programs, you can write one program and have a slash in front of the line with the hole in question. When we want to run the parts without the hole, we simply press the block skip button and that line will be ignored by the control during execution. We see in this example, if we activate the block skip button, the line with X35 will be ignored. Next, let's take a look at M80 open work shoot and M81 close work shoot. For machines equipped with a work shoot, the code M80 will open the work shoot and it will remain open until the code M81 is read, which will close the work shoot. The work chute can be used to drop parts or scrap cutout from the sheet instead of using micro joints to secure them to the sheet. The size of the work chute will vary with machine models and therefore the size of the part that can be dropped through it also varies. Another consideration to be careful with is punching sequence. The part should be positioned so when the last hit that will separate the part from the sheet is punched, the part will fall into the work chute by gravity. If the part does not drop into the work chute, it can remain loose on the table, which can cause damage to the sheet, machine, or even tooling. Imagine if the loose part moves under the sheet and onto the die. You then would be punching double the thickness which can damage the punch, the die, or even the machine. The danger of the part not falling into the work chute is one reason why the work chute is rarely used. Another reason is that every time the work chute has opened or closed, extra time is being added to the total runtime of the sheet. The next code is G04 dwell. When G04 is entered with the value X, the machine is stopped for the length of time indicated by X in seconds. The smallest value is 0.01 second. The dwell code is very dangerous as it will stop the machine for the time indicated by X and will then continue to the next line in the program. Sometimes it is used in between the M80 M81 code to leave some extra time for the part to fall through the work chute. Imagine if the value is 10 seconds and the operator does not understand why the machine is stopped. He may go see what is happening and the machine then moves. This can cause injury. M00 should be used instead of G04 when possible. If you use G04, make sure the X is less than 1 second for safety reasons. Now let's look at G20 inch coordinate system and G21 metric coordinate system. By default, the control is set to inch or metric coordinate system. 
This means that whichever system is chosen, the control expects to read programs written for that default coordinate system. The G20 and G21 codes are used to execute a program which is different from the default coordinate system set on the machine. For example, if the machine is set on the inch coordinate system by default, it means all the programs run on the machine should be an inch. Let's say for some reason you want to run a metric program. You could use the G21 to tell the machine that this program is all in metric, without changing the default of the machine. The G21 would be at the beginning of the program. Please note that the G92 line may not just be a simple conversion from inch to metric. Verify your manual for the correct G92 in inch and in metric coordinates. Keep in mind that although the code exists, it is recommended to always write programs in the coordinate system chosen as default on the machine. This avoids errors for both programmers and operators. Now let's look at sequence numbers. Every G-code program is executed sequentially. In other words, the control executes one line at a time and reads the lines from top to the bottom of the program. Each line can have a line number, but it is optional. To give a line number to a line, just add N followed by a number from 1 to 9999. Line numbers are sometimes used for advanced control programming, which is beyond the scope of this series. Older machines would show line numbers by default, but machines today will only show line numbers if you assign them to lines. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.